In this video we are going to see how we can program a port scanner using the nmap module. The program will take a range of port numbers as input and print the state, whether open or closed, of all these ports in that range. Ports technically are like holes in the network. So, your router has probably a firewall and what it does is that it protects anything that comes from the outside from getting in. So you might have anything going on on your network, if you're running an online shop or e-commerce website or managing any website for fun, you might have an open port like port 80 for example, which will allow people to access your public IP address at port 80. And this is very bad because ideally you don't want any open ports on your network. It's like you're leaving your windows day and night inviting all sorts of bugs to come into your house and we don't want that. So, this program will just shed the light on these open ports. And you will need to have the nmap tool installed on your computer. So, if you don't have it, uh, let me show you how to get it. We'll just type nmap.org forward slash download dot html. and you can find your operating system. I mean, if you have Microsoft Windows, uh, Linux, Mac OS, uh, as I have Windows here, um, just you can click, if you have Windows like me, you can click here um, if you're running on Linux. So you can find the latest stable release. You can download it from here. And um, there is only one option for the Mac OS X. And nmap is a free and open source network scanning tool. We will also use the Python nmap module to achieve this task. So um, let me show you. You will need to go ahead and pip install Python nmap. Okay, so once you have the Python nmap module installed, and um, the nmap tool here installed as well. Before just we will carry on, I need to tell you that you have to be very careful because doing nmap scans on a target without proper permission or authority is considered to be illegal. So please do not try this on other people's networks unless you have an explicit permission to do so. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to use our local host 127.0.0.1 as your target. So let me shut this and let's create a folder. We will call it port scanner. Create a file called main.py. So the first thing you need to do is to import and map. Um, then we want to take the range of ports to be scanned. Get two variables, begin at 75 and end at port 80. Then we want to assign the target IP to be scanned to a variable. So I'll create another object called target. And the IP, as we said, our local host 127.0.0.1. Then let's instantiate a port scanner object. So we'll call that scanner. dot port scanner. So this is the target and this is the port scanner object. Then let's have a loop from beginning to end incremented by one. So we will say for i in range from 75 to 80 plus one. Then what we want to do is we want to scan the target port. So we'll have a response and this response will be equal to the scanner dot method called scan. Inside here we will pass target and the iterator. But we want it in the form of string, so we will wrap it in a stir method. And the result will be a dictionary that contains several information. Um, we only need to check if the port is open or closed, right? 
so we will access only that information in the dictionary so uh, we will override the res variable by taking the scan the target the TCP the iterator and we want the state whether open or closed then the last thing we need to say that port for example 75 is open or closed so we will print that by using the print statement with f string saying port then the iterator which will iterate over the different ports um, is and we want to return the res or uh, the state basically okay and that's it so let's check it out so let me just open it using my um, get bash tool here all right so say python main.py fantastic I have all the ports from 75 to 80 all closed which is a very good sign that means that my network is secure and um, if you'll have the same then uh, it's very good if you have any open ports on your computer this is not good and you need to protect yourself against that because if hackers will use their ways to scan any ports on your computer they are able to detect any vulnerabilities on your system so hackers create a program that sends one message at a time to each of the ports and by doing this they are able to work out what you're using the port for so you need to be very careful and avoid having any open ports on your network and maybe in the next videos i can show you one or two ways to secure your network because even if you have a firewall at some point it will fail you and you will have open ports and actually there are a lot of types of port scanning there is vanilla where um, the hacker tests every virtual port on your system um, there is a sweep which is a system-wide attack so instead of targeting a particular computer within the network hackers ping one port across several computers and this enabled them to see which computers on the network are active there is stealth there is FTP bounds there are a lot of port scanning types out there Okay, so this was how to create a port scanner using Nmap module in Python and the Nmap tool. I hope you liked the video, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next videos.